During these challenging times, we often find ourselves in very difficult situations. Instead of getting stressed and delving into a state of shock and panic, we need to beat our battle drums to gain new energy and purpose. This story of Buddha tells us the power of realizing and accepting our true selves and the strength that lies within every one of us. This story also illustrates the disaster that happens when we forget our true nature and accept a lower existence of life without energy, purpose and power. The kingdom of Kaushal was ruled by the mighty warrior king Pasendi. He was an ardent follower of Buddha. He had an elephant called Pavayakka who was well known for his strength, courage, bravery and wisdom. He was the pride of the king's army. He had led the king into several victories. When he entered the battlefield, the enemy used to get scared of the sight of the giant elephant. His trumpets made the enemy run away from the battlegrounds. He had the record of not losing a single war that he had fought. Over time, the elephant grew old. He was no more participating in the wars, but he was still very dear to the king. Once he went to drink water from a pond near the capital city of Sravasti, he entered into the muddy waters of the pond. Suddenly, he felt that his feet were stuck in the swamp. He was not able to move and get out, however hard he tried. The harder he was trying, the more deeply he was getting stuck. His new trainer saw the plight of the elephant. He tried all the tricks that he could do. He tried to tempt the elephant out of the swamp by offering him sugarcane and bananas. But the elephant was unmoved. The elephant was in extreme pain and shock. After failing to tempt the elephant, he tried threatening him and giving the pain to force him out of water. He started beating the elephant with large bamboo sticks and iron rods. But the elephant was still unmoved. The news reached the king that his elephant was stuck in a swamp and was not able to move out. He immediately reached the pond to oversee the rescue of the elephant. The villagers had gathered all around the pond when they heard that king himself was monitoring the situation. The news spread like wildfire in the city of Sravasti. At that time, Buddha was staying in the Jetavana monastery in Sravasti for his rainy retreat. When he heard the news of the plight of elephant, he instructed the old trainer of the elephant to help the king in rescue. The old trainer had renounced the world and had joined the Sangha. He was also staying at the Jetavana monastery. When the old trainer reached the pond, he started laughing at the scene of the elephant stuck in the swamp and the ongoing attempts to rescue him. He asked the new trainer and the soldiers of the king to play the war drums which they used to play at the beginning of the battles. The moment the war drums started to get played, the elephant got alert. He trumpeted with full force and collected all his strength and started to march outside of the pond. He was free from the swamp in no time. The bhikkhus who have accompanied the old trainer narrated the whole episode to Buddha. Buddha smiled and said that the old trainer laughed when he reached the site because he was amused by the fact that how can the strong warrior elephant forget his true identity and get stuck in the mud? When the trainer ordered the playing of the battle drums, the elephant immediately remembered his true nature and the power and strength he still commanded. He concentrated all his strength and energy and got out of the mud. Monks, you should also realize your true nature and get out of the mud of cravings, anger and hate. For that, you will also need to focus and concentrate all your energy and strength to gain supreme freedom, something that the elephant just did. The true teacher guides you to realize your true identity. The elephant was tempted by sugarcane and bananas, but that was not sufficient to ensure that he gets free. Similarly, the true teacher will not tempt you with the concept of heaven and the afterlife, as this is not going to work. The elephant was unmoved by the beatings and pain inflicted by the bamboo sticks and iron rods as well. The true teacher will never threaten you with the prospects of punishment in the hell. He will guide you to ensure that you attain the knowledge of your true identity. He will teach you the right path, the path of Dhamma. Walking on the path of Dhamma will ensure that you get out of the swamp of suffering and pain. We must beat our battle drums and lead a life of purpose and abundant energy, even in the face of the greatest adversity. If you found value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. We are constantly coming out with new videos on the life of Buddha and the Buddhist heritage. If the information provided by the video was useful, please subscribe to the channel for similar videos on Buddhism. Please share your thoughts on the role of the concept of heaven and hell 
as motivating factors in life compared to the energy and strength gained with the realization of one's true identity. You can share your thoughts in the comment section below.